everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing another current household so it's been a little while since i've done a current household of this family it is my not so berry family i believe it's been about a month maybe two months i think it's been about two months since i've updated uh my not so berry so i thought now would be a good time considering i play the game like really really fast and i think the last time you guys saw i was on orange gen and i'm currently on peach about to transition into green gen. So I'm going to introduce you guys to my sims and then kind of share some things and maybe even some screenshots at the end of what I've done with them. So um, we can get into the we could get into the game. I, I realized just now that they're not home, the teenagers. They are currently at, like um, at the romance festival, but I left the adults home with the toddler, so yeah that that's happening i probably should have thought about that before i started but it doesn't really matter we're gonna get into it right now and i will show you everyone so first off um we have my green gen air i've already decided she's going to be air and not her little sister um this is blossom fletcher she is a teenager obviously uh her traits are going to be cheerful geek and i think she just means seeing the squeamish trait and then she has all these like she has the top-notch infant spice hound high self-esteem she's part of the nerd brains she's not popular or unpopular nor does she care about being popular and she's just pretty much an edgy sim and she's currently standing next to her best friend who lives with us because he was a foster kid who was in the foster system for us for a very long time he came to us as a child and he was like so close to being a teen and they were so close that i didn't want to like send him away i felt like it would be kind of like a little cruel to send him away so i just decided that he was going to stay with us so i adopted him and that's the problem with me and foster children is i get really attached to them so i end up adopting all of them um so far i've adopted two of my foster children out of like the four i've had uh kara was a foster child that we had and i adopted um isaiah is one and then Desmond was one but he's probably the only one that I've had that I actually sent off to be adopted and I think we had maybe like one more foster kid who I sent off to get adopted but I'm not entirely sure uh I think I don't remember there was one more kid who we had as a foster child and I think I sent her off but I'm not entirely sure uh who they were or where they are now for all I know, they could be dead. <laughs> if I'm being completely- Oh wait, it was her. Miwa. We had her as a foster child, and then she went off to her family. So, um, yeah. So, Isaiah, he lives with us now. He is- I think he is cheerful also. I'm not entirely sure. No, he's a vegetarian and music lover, so I kind of want to do that whole thing with him, is where he, like, grows into music, since she's going to be doing tech stuff. I thought it would be kind of cute. He's, like, in a band, and she's doing, like, hacker things um yeah and then he also has high self-esteem i made sure like all of my kids had high self-esteem because i know what it's like to have low self-esteem that sucks and then we have kara she's cheerful outgoing very popular she's part of the womp jokes she has high self-esteem and she's relatable um even though she's older than blossom she was adopted after we had blossom so yeah so she's technically my oldest but like the second child in a way it's weird uh, but anyways we have her and I'm trying to and then she's here she's currently going to start dating Desmond they were foster kids at the same time they have like a similar relationship to Blossom and Isaiah but Desmond actually went away so I was just like it, it kind of sucks that like I split them up but they're they're still friends they're pretty close uh, he came on vacation with us so did Isaiah and it, it was pretty cool um, I like like how close they are and they're gonna end up like dating and possibly getting married in the future i think i see that for them for sure um same with blossom and isaiah i kind of even though they're like I, I don't call them siblings like at all even though you know his her parents adopted him it's kind of more like of a guardianship in a way so they are probably going to end up together because when i, I kind of saw it like the first moment i saw him is he came to us with blue hair and blue gen is next it's the last generation and then after blue gen i'm probably going to continue with this family just doing something completely different and since blue gen was next i thought it was so cute that 
we got this random little boy who came with us and he, he he had blue hair and I thought it was so perfect that him and Blossom could like kind of have this really cute relationship where they're best friends growing up and then they grow up into teenagers and they stay friends and then maybe by the time they're like end of teenage ship going into early adulthood that's when they decide they're gonna start dating I don't know I thought it was so cute like I never really do the whole childhood friend to uh like getting married in the future I haven't done it in so long it's been maybe like a few years since I've done that trope I usually do like high school sweethearts so I thought this would be cute but they're not dating or anything yet they're just still good friends um and then we have Olani who's not here she is my peach gen heir uh she was a goofball foodie and lazy she also has the self-assured and proper traits because those are like extra traits that she got um she as you can see she has like a whole bunch of traits just so that i can help with things she ended up graduating with honors and um she's chief at the detective career so i've completed her career the only thing i need to do with her is complete the comedy skill which we're level eight we just need two more skill sets and then we're done i've already completed her aspiration oh wait oh her aspirations completed once i get there i thought i completed it but i completed her career and then i got gourmet cooking level 10 and i think i've done the i also did the whole like music career or entertainer career thing which sucked but i sent her to university and um our last child that we have is ivy she was a little bit of a like an accident but she's inquisitive she's a spice hound she had the top notch infant trait somehow I guess it's because she was loved and then she loves books and she has a good appetite which thank god and um here she is she's supposed to have green hair but she currently has brown hair i mean black hair so let's just ignore that um and then we have the dad jamari fletcher who's going to be an elder in nine days and that's freaking tragic to me uh he's a family oriented which i knew that like when we had kids like blossom especially and uh Kara, he was like so in devoted to Blossom as a baby. He would get up in the middle of the night to take care of her. He was there for the birth, obviously, but he was like there for the birth, like in the bed with her while she was giving her birth. And then she, um, he, um, he was the primary ta care caregiver for Blossom. Like, Alani couldn't barely get in when it came to the baby. I don't even think I have many pictures, if any, of, um, Alani with the baby because. He, he basically did it all. And the second baby, I kind of didn't pay attention to her, but it's okay. Um, he has a lot of milestones because I finally fixed my milestones, or they fixed them, where their milestones don't get erased, so that's good. Um, and that's pretty much it about Jamari. We also have another child who is Alani's child that she gave up. So she got pregnant by a married man, this guy here. Carmela when she was a young adult in college so we ended up giving him the baby he ended up adopting the baby off of us and we ended up meeting him again when he was a teenager so he came to our house he was just like hey you're my mom my dad told me about you and then we told him what we gave him away and he didn't really get along with Alani his name is Alder Burnett which his name should really be Humphrey but we're not going to talk about it so he is a teen he's mean as you can see he's really not that good of a kid and he really doesn't like us so uh th that that's him um so that kind of makes our total of children to technically four but really it's three going to show up and um i have some pictures of him like as a baby i think one picture of him as a baby and like a few as a toddler and none as a child because she was doing like visits to him where she visited him when he was younger but then by the time he was a child i had built him a room in our house to like have him stay over but he would never come when i would invite him over it's almost like his dad was saying like oh you don't need to see her and he didn't really know like she was her mom i mean she was his mom so it was kind of sad but I kind of took it with a grain of salt because it's the Sims. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this current household. Um, I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you guys like my Sims. Um, next time I update this, we'll probably I'll probably be done with this challenge and I'll be doing like something else with it. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Bye guys.